Oh, you're yeah, taking it. I got one for it. Yeah. Actually, no, you make it so I don't forget. You do this. It goes to me, though. No, you forget it, Rick. I don't think so. Yeah, you're right. I don't know what I'm doing. I knew I was going to do it. I guess I could just talk about some juicy gossip. But I don't have any juicy gossip. So now make sure when you when you come up there five minutes, make sure that I see it five minutes. Don't you walk in front of that. Don't you walk in don't you walk, I do that. Yes, I do that way. Don't you walk in front of my cameras. I do that's right too. <laughs> you know, it's the time. Oh, that's, oh, that's it. Give us the time. Mm -hmm. Grab a hold. Todd, this is for you, sir. Grab a hold of you and say, uh -huh. <laughs> Who's in my camera to operate? Somebody better get up here. Todd. Hold on, Oh. What position you got? Oh. Huh? You got to take this. You, you either behind the camera or in front of the camera. Those are oh, the only I'm options. In front of the camera. Well. Yeah, I need uh, some company. The person who's supposed to be up there with me is not here today, so. Hey, why don't you just call him back, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I need some help. No, I don't want to get to my Quite upset. Now, had, had, you got, had you guys discussed what uh, the topic? No, because that's the we, no, we got all job. that next. We got all that. Okay. Don't worry. I need everybody to take their position right now. Okay. Please don't get with this file upset. Come on. I never get upset. Okay, he doesn't need to say. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's just taking it off. Okay. All right, of course. Yes, I want you on the set. And, uh, okay. Juan, okay. you're going to be, uh, who's on this camera? Nobody? Uh, no. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. This is your camera. Okay. This is your camera. You're a camera woman. That's, that's pressure. Mm -hmm. This one, this one was a good one. You never have to move. I bet you that's for sure. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, hello. Okay. To the green. You do the walk in the door. Get on the set. Of course, you all. I'm on. Yeah. Our talent has arrived. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Because I need you. Okay. Huh? Two, the, the two girls with the hats. Oh, you stand next to me. Of course. Okay. I thought you were going to make that up. No. All right, everybody. So you got it? You just pull the headsets. If you can't hear, just pull it. Put it on your neck. Just pull them off. Put them on your neck. All right. Everybody, pay attention. We're going from every single position. To tell you exactly what you got to do. Listen. So you're the host, and the number one thing you have to do is control this show from the host position. You understand what I mean? If you don't lead us, you can't follow. Okay. So basically, you know your subject matter, you know what you're talking about, you know everything you're going to do with the show. The guest doesn't necessarily need to be someone who uh, actually knows what you're going to do, but they have to be aware of the subject matter so they can talk. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to act as if we got this going on tonight and, you know, do it like it's real. So, first of all, when we do this later, we try to break about 6.15 or so, 6.20. And we get all get together and discuss this. So we can come up with the concept, show everything. Um, when you start off, you have to make sure you see the top, no matter where it goes. Okay? But just sit like you're getting ready to talk, like we had you before. Okay? But you bought it? I mean, you've got it. All right, I'm going to tell you that what the plan is in there, what we're going to do, possibly start off always with the wide shot camera. Come in, and he'll kill you, and then you start talking. I you know, welcome to our show because you'll know the show. But between now and next 
Wednesday, you'll know that. Okay. All right? That's the problem with not having our real co-hosts uh, here today, so you might be drowning. So, basically, this is your main source. Just make sure you know where he is and what he's doing. Okay? You have to introduce the show. Then you have to just take it from there. Talking to your guests. Do your thing from there. Every question, every reaction, get in. So you know what you're talking about. You know what question you're going to ask. Uh, at any given time, you should know that um, you're able to think ahead. Talking about something, you may talk and respond and pick up on that, but it's not time to, to uh, follow up on it. Then you'll go in with the next question instead of stopping and saying, uh, mm -hmm. well, tell me about, and then each question is so programmed. So you're in tune with one another. Listening also to try to figure out what she's talking about, follow along or pick up on something that you may be in the <coughs> conversation. Okay, got that? The show is going to be two segments. It's going to be a seven and a seven. Seven minutes and seven minutes. So when you start the show, introduce it, tell who you're with today, it's the name of the show, <clears throat> all of that, and then just go for it. Going back and forth, right? As you begin to go along, we got these set up for different time periods. Five, four, three, two, one, and thirty. There's a blank one here. So pay attention to time. I mean you can't not pay attention to it. So as you're looking, look at her. Like you're talking to. Do you see me on the side of your eye? Do you see me? Sort of? That's all you need to do. Also, let me see if this works. Uh, I don't think the lights work on the camera, so you can't see me. So, yeah, they do. If you, yeah, yeah they do. The red ones that light up when yeah. they're yeah. filming? Yeah, they, they do. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you, you can sort of kind of glance up. And know if that camera's on you while we talk, while you're talking or or paying attention. So if he's getting your attention like this, it's more like a glance to your side to know. And if you don't see that light on, then you can kind of glance over at him and know. So he knows that you saw it, because he's gonna stand here until you see it, right? And then when he knows you got it, he can put it aside, get the next one ready. Okay. So then, yeah. So then when we get to that thirty second. Right? That's right? Yep. You should be getting to a point where it's in the first segment saying, you know, um, this conversation blah blah has been interesting, but we got more to talk about. Tyler, stand over here and get ready to cue you to the camera. Don't go to it until you see him. Okay. Pointing. <laughs> Not standing here, pointing. So follow his every move. Okay. If he has this and he's standing over here, that means you're still on this camera. But when he walks over here, that doesn't necessarily mean you're on there yet until he cues you. That means, yeah. So at the end of the segment, you're saying, this is a great conversation going on here. We got more to come, you know, but we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about the plot, right? And then each time you finish the segment, look at her and act like y'all talk. Don't have to be about anything. Just talk. The reason why you do that is to, so that we're in there in control and we're just watching you do your thing. We fade black, Ty tell you when you, you're clear. All right? The process goes the second time around for the next seven minutes, same way. But this time, at the end of it, when we're doing the 30 seconds and so on, the second time we're wrapping it up to end the program. So after that, you're ready to say uh, thanks for joining us. That was a great conversation. Join us next time on whatever show it is. And then he'll cue you, let you know when you're on the camera. And then just end it like that. Turn, talk, continue clear. Got it? Is that okay? All right. Next. You've got a great responsibility for making sure she sees this, mm -hmm. making sure she sees where your hands are or cueing her to the camera and everything. I would suggest this doesn't even have to be there mm -hmm. until you start, right? Mm -hmm. Turn the camera, she sees it. Hi, welcome to the show. Pick him up. 
You could have seen this one off. Right, right. You never have to cue her to any other camera until it's time to. Okay. All you're doing is giving the time to me. Five, four, three, two, one. When we tell you, ready to cue her to camera two. And then let her know she's on camera two. And she'll do her thing to wrap up. Okay. Got okay. It, then it. you know it's clear in there when we tell you. Right. Right. And so now I don't. Uh, I don't need to uh, monitor the time. That'll be. Well, tell me. Okay. Got it. Five minutes. Four minutes. Okay. Three minutes. Got That's it. when you're doing got it. Got it. Got it. And she can see it. Got it. And don't put it down until she acknowledges. Right. She will either look out the corner of her eye like that, wink, yeah. nod, whatever, mm -hmm. or look at you. Okay. Then you know you, she got it. Got it. Okay? Yep. Got it? Yep. Floor to record. Camera three. Your responsibility is obviously to get the close up. But remember, I told you we were going to throw something in there. Right now, you guys are too far apart. You got to move in. You're okay. A little more. Uh, let's see. Your body is on. That's what the deal is. So move your chair this way. Yep. And turn your body toward. Now, when you're looking this way, you don't have to do this. Try to kind of turn your body this way like you're looking at us. There you go. Then you know when you're looking at each other, turn back at each other. There you go. Because then we got the shot. But if you don't, then your head is over here and the shot is over here. The same way over here. So just keep that in mind. Just doing that. Not doing anything else. Just pay attention to us out here. To your shot. Let me see the close-up. Yep, she's talking to her, you got it. Yeah. Then when we tell you to change your shot to an over the shoulder or two shot, zoom out, and get both of them. There you go, tilt down. Alright, so the shot ends up like this. Yeah. So that's the second shot. Okay? Yep, and then when we tell you to change the shot to the two shot, that's what you'll get. Right? Your shot is mainly the wide shot, probably won't change much. Okay. So um, just readjusting to where they're positioned or putting them in place so they know that they're in the right place. This one, this one, but you're okay. Okay. Can you see? I can see it. Yeah, so just make sure you can see. This one tilts down a little bit. Yeah, my opinion It tilts up its own. You move the camera. So, not that bad. Yeah, you got it. You got it. So you won't have to strain them much and if you get tired, lock it down. Okay. Move your hands around. Okay. They can't because they're getting shots. Okay. <laughs> All right. And we tell you do any other thing like zoom in or whatever, okay. then you'll know. Okay. What we were showing them over there is you got a close up, right? And you want to make sure your shot has a little bit of lead room so that if she can lean left or right, do that for me. Lean left or right. Yeah, yeah, you're looking at yourself, that's okay. You know, so what we're doing is following you and trying to frame properly, you see what I mean? Whether she, she might be a little illustrative, give a little bit more move room there, like that, or like that, you know, just back and forth, you'll see how it works. But only if I'm not live. Right, right. if you're live, then just do something like this. See that, Robert? Take a look at this. Anytime we know that you live, you can stay there, watch what I'm doing. Anytime we know that you live, and we tell you to move the camera, do this. See what I mean? See what I'm doing? Closer, actually. You can see it from here. I'm just moving the camera. My glasses. Okay. Don't worry. See this? See what I'm doing? I'm just paying. Yeah. It was slight movement, right. though. You're on the air. You right. can't do this. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So if we tell you to move while you're on the air, or if we tell you to, to pan a little bit, just slightly pan the camera. Okay. Don't do this. Any any quick action. <laughs> Only time you move the camera out is when we tell you to readjust the shot. Let me show you what it is. It's this. Two shots. Two shots. Right. Then you 
just a mouth just like this, you see? You got it. So they don't they're framing and they won't. Like if you did this and she moved, she's out of the shot. But if you loosen up a little bit, you don't want to be out here like that. You want to be in like this. Because when we do this in post, you got to be a good name. Okay? You'll get used to it, don't worry about it. All right? Good. All right? So far, so good, Gabby. The reason why I explain all that and I want you to listen, because that's your, your job. Yes. You got to pay attention to that to tell them the same thing. Okay? Come on. All right. Y'all got it? Yep. Put your headsets on. Everybody got their positions ready. We're going to do one. Let's record a seven minute program or practice a seven minute program. When we do this, I'm going to try to close this door so y'all won't hear us out here anyway. Um, 
<coughs> Ready? Got a topic you want to talk about? Let's do this like it's happening for real. Probably let's practice a five minute instead. <laughs> Just do it. How do you think? What do you want to talk about? Uh, we're going to talk about the movie Best Man Holiday in the Good. All right, because you're, you're knowledgeable about it, and I big believe you can do that as a good practice. So let's get one down. All right? Okay. Everybody ready? Yep. I think yep. you are. Let's go for it. That's why I can't do that. I'm wondering why it won't close. Because the rug is away. Okay, so should we sit up like this? Can you hear me? Sure, they ain't even driving. hear you. But we're okay for now. Smith, too. They just brought back in there and put it down. Good evening, my name is Sierra and we're here with Sabrina live tonight. We're going to be talking about uh, the movie Black Man, what is it called? Black Best Man Holiday. Best Man Holiday, <laughs> sorry. And uh, we're going to relate it to relationships in the black community. So, um, tell me, what did you think about the movie? Um, actually, I thought that it was a, first, it was a better, better development than the first film. The first film, you know, it had its fans, it had its followers, but, you know, it was almost stereotypical as far as the black community is concerned. So I felt like the second film actually evolved that it took it to a more realistic view of, you know, African-American members in the community that were actually more settled. It really had, you know, real relationships and, you know, there's different situations in life that they were trying to deal with struggle. So I felt it, felt it was more realistic this time. So what was your interpretation of the <coughs> different roles that were played by the black women you had? Um, the career-driven woman, the reality star mom, the typical housewife mom, and then you had the uh, sports wife mom. So what was your um, take on all of those different roles? I actually felt like, like they were more realistic. For instance, when you say the reality star mom, when you look at t television today, what do you see a lot of? Reality TV is actually outweighing what we're seeing as far as you know scripted television shows and whatnot are concerned. And, you have, you know, people who aspire to be on these shows and aspire to be like the people on the shows. But then when they get on there, they use it as a token, you know, to stardom and, and fame. And they kind of use it as a catapult into their careers and futures. So I felt like that was extremely realistic. And she also gave, you know, a really good view of how, you know, aspiring to something like that has leaked into not just the black community, but just, you know, our culture period. Because, you know, she has this persona and this look about her that's, you know, so generically right. made up where she has the hair mm -hmm. and the body and the attitude. So I feel like that character was spot on. I feel like the sports wife character was spot on. All of them may not, you know, of course, be sick or not, but, you know, she was a really good depiction of it. And then you have the version of woman. Very, 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 very relatable to a lot of us today, especially with us in the African American community that are aspiring to be something different, you know, than a reality mm -hmm. star or whatnot. I know plenty of people, even myself, who become very focused in their career and tend to shut out and cut off everybody else. So I felt like the, you know, the women really, really evolved some different characters that are really relatable to us in this time. So what character did you relate to most and why? It would probably, like I say, be the, the career driven one. Okay. Because, you know, we fight so hard against stereotypes, you know, especially with us about, you know, well, they may just be like this or like that, and they're really not focused on education, you know, or jobs or whatnot. So you really, really focus on trying to push yourself to be somebody, you know, that you're like, okay, I did this, and I accomplished this, and I set out to do this, and I made this for myself. So I can totally relate to that, because I'm like that all the time, and it can close out me, you know, out of relationships or friends or whatnot, but just because 
because I'm really aspiring to, you know, attain it for myself. So I would definitely have him advice. I don't even remember who he was in the movie, but yeah. whoever he alone was. Right. That's, who I, that's why I say I connect with him all the Right. Um, so the different interpretations of the males in the movie, did you feel like those were accurate or do you feel like they were a bit, you know, hyped up more than what they should have been? I feel like they were backed up. Okay. You know, and the funny thing about it is that, that when um, when the movie came out and people started seeing it, it was all over Facebook where, you know, guys are commenting and saying, hey, Best Man Holiday is just the movie. Men are not, not like that in real life. Right. Some of the, some aspects of their personality I felt were real. You know, just you know how men are together as far as their camaraderie and, you know, how they talk and, you know, what they discuss and, you know, the bond that they share. But, you know, as far as it being, you know, just extra lovey-dovey and caring and, oh, my goodness, and I love you. That, that feeling was exaggerated a little bit, and I think that's what a lot of the men were relating to. Just, you know, this guy is going to think he's going to be very real and knight and shining already. Everybody's just going to always come and whisk you off your feet. It's, it's not realistic. So. Totally agreeable. Um, one last question before we go. Um, the guy, I forgot what his name was, but he, um, he was the flirtatious person in the movie. Uh, what did you think of him? Did you feel like all guys were like that, or it was just, I guess, a part of the movie to make it more entertaining? And I'm going to um, let you answer that question when we come back. So, um, yeah, I don't know how to close the show off. <laughs> Keep talking. Keep talking. Um, yeah, so I'm going to learn how to close the show off eventually, but right now I don't know how to do that. How do you close off the show? Okay, so I feel like I answered. We'll be back. We'll be coming back to you for you know after after a station break or something. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like okay, because I I feel like I ended that right. I'm like, okay, so we're gonna let you ask that question. We'll come back, and then when I turn here, I'm like, uh, what do I say here? Well, oh, it could be that short. It don't have to be that long. Cause he was making me talk for a long time. He's like, keep talking, keep talking. Or I guess he meant like after maybe they fade, like the mics and still looks like we're interrupting. Okay, so I can say, and I'm gonna let you answer that question when we come back, and then, and then we can just, I guess, pretend to be talking to each other. Because like, I think we can't. I think the mics are faded out by that point. All right. When we come back in, when we come back, we're gonna do another one. And and we're back. So what do you guys think? Uh, we have questions. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, it's your question. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm having trouble with, okay, with the 30-minute mark. I don't know how to close out. I did it halfway okay. right, but I don't know yeah, what to say okay. when I come that's back Yeah, that's okay. It's here. a practice. So, at that point, what happened was, when you showed the 30, you asked her another question. And then you realized you can't answer that question until the next second. Uh -huh. And that way, you kind of stepped up on it. <laughs> we were ready to wrap you up, but you, like, into the question already. Okay. But you caught it, but then when you did that, we were lagging in there to give you the command to go. Oh, <laughs> so that's what happened. So it's more of a motion of saying, if you see that 30 second in your mind, you know what? Um, this has been a great conversation, but we need to talk a little bit more, you know, something like that. And then watch Ty, and he'll get you here. And then at that point, you start immediately thinking, I got to say something to my audience to say, you know, keep staying tuned. We're going to come back with more conversation. Okay. Yep, that's what it was. Okay. So you did it right. Our time and your time wasn't right yet. Okay. Yep. Okay. So try that again. The last one? Oh, we're going to do a whole five minutes. See so if oh. we can do it again. Okay. That was good. But let's, this time, let's fade in on the second segment. No, like we're doing the second one. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. pick up from there. Mm -hmm. So you'll see how to feel to do the end of the program. Mm -hmm. Yep. So keep in mind, we're, we're doing a second segment this time. Do All right. we have papers up here? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's yeah. all part of decorating the set. Okay. And being <laughs> talented. You know, we're going to talk about that when we break down tonight. Okay. Yep. I just need a card to... Anything you feel comfortable with, it'd be like something like you, you know, like you got a little paper, hey, or like a profile, <laughs> some, but you're not really reading it. It's you just being comfortable with something yeah. in your hand. Okay. Yep. All right. Who brought the Oreos? Thank you. 
know, when you go, you know, when, when we say that 30, when you see 30 seconds, mm -hmm. you, you allow her to uh, uh, kind of encourage her to wrap up whatever it is, conversation she is, right. and then you know yourself that you're going to close it out, so you, you pretty much take over the conversation. Mm -hmm. That's basically what we what we want to happen. Should, should Cheryl be looking at this camera? Should Cheryl be looking at this camera she's talking? No. No? No. You should just be looking at her. You mean at the, at the, at the, at the closeout or? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Oh, during the, during the interchange? No. When, she, when Cheryl's talking to the audience, should she be talking to camera three? No, she's going to be talking to camera two. Camera two, two. yeah. Pretty yeah. Much yeah. You, you're talking about at the close out, which is closing out, or just doing it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're ready for you. You just moved off the set. We move your hair away from right. No, we're getting ready. Okay. It's good. Yeah, we got a lot of need to know where you're at. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to step out here and talk to somebody, you talk to me. Yes, sir. And I'll talk to you. <laughs> yes, talk sir. To you. That's He's why when you, right you know what? I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, yes, sir. I can take orders. <laughs> You come out here, you got to talk to me. I'll talk to them, but you talk with me. Yes, sir. I'll pad, per, I'll share whatever it is you, your concern. He I'll sent share. me out here to well, get. You can tell him too. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Hey, hey. Just remember, I pay you. To continue our conversation about the movie Best Man Holiday, what was your interpretation of the sororities and fraternity life that was displayed? Do you feel like it was um, it was elusive, or it it was like you know out there boldly where you can catch it and you knew that they were a part of a certain sorority or fraternity? Um, I really didn't catch it that much. Not as much in, in what sense? Like, do you mean like? Where should I probably be caught in the movie? Okay, uh, for example, uh, Marsh Chestnut was um, talking with the guys uh, in the scene when they were downstairs in his game room, I guess you right. would consider it. And uh, they were talking about what was their three um, main points in life. And he said family, no, God, family, and football in that order. And he also referenced uh, the fraternity um, Omega Sapphire Fraternity mm -hmm. Incorporated. That. So, uh, do you know anything about that, or no? To an to an extent, I'm not really. I'm not extremely familiar with them as a part of like a sorority. Okay. But you know, as far as you know, maybe are you referring to maybe like the allegiance the guys will have to, or even the females, just allegiance to it, as far right. as being an integral part of someone's life. Yes. I definitely think that's. I think that's very very valid. I know plenty of people that are in sororities and fraternities and. Even after college, they're still like you have people who didn't even get a chance to pledge in college. After college, they're still pledging. And then after you know they pledge, and then they're in their thirties and forties and fifties, they're still regularly attending meetings, and they're still contributing. They're still going out to the events. They're still bringing in other members. So I just as serious as someone's family is, they you know fraternities and sororities are considered your extended family. So right. I definitely think that's something else that also made the movie pretty valid and relatable. <coughs> So back to the character that you related to as far as the alum, 
Uh, do you feel like the fact that she was dating the token white guy, do you feel like that was uh, relatable to you or, or no? Would you go well, that route? <laughs> I'm not picky. I'm okay. not picky at all, but I do think that it was um, interesting that they brought that into the movie mm -hmm. because, I mean, we're so integrated these days. And so with us mixing with other races, it means so you didn't take that in a negative way? I didn't, I didn't take it in a negative way at all. I know some people who right. did, in right. a sense. But to me, I think it was something else that made the movie very mm -hmm. relatable because that's, you know, that's what we deal with today. You know, who cares? You free love people who love. Right. But that clearly had nothing to do with her other issues that she had as far as her career, just making her cut off, cut out everybody. So. Definitely. Um, also, I wanted to talk to you uh, about the character that Sanaa Lathan played. Uh, she was a cook, and she really, they, the way they portrayed her, she was more so um, portrayed as kind of, not Dixie, but not as smart as right. the other ladies were in the movie. Do you feel like that was um, something that added a negative light towards the movie, or more towards the positive light? To um, kind of, I guess, bring a more inside look, a deeper, you know, look uh, in her character. I think probably a deeper look into it because she did it she wasn't as well she was accomplished she, she definitely was right. but in the aspect of maybe a couple of the other women in their own senses she wasn't as accomplished right. and then she kind of felt you could tell during the movie she kind of felt like she was lacking in some areas especially mm -hmm. with her having you know dealt with the issues with the first pregnancy that she had I think that really really affected her ego that was mentioned more than her career was almost definitely, just definitely. because you know she was so you know paranoid and being so careful about the pregnancy, when they thought issues were going on, you know, she started breaking down, and she would lash out at her husband about it, and it led to a lot of friction between them. But, you know, regardless, you know, if she wasn't as accomplished as they were, she didn't have as much going on as they did, it still was another really cool character that just shined deaf into the reality of a lot of, you know, a lot of us today. Also, I wanted to talk to you about the, the twist that was put into the story with um, Morris Chestnut's hus uh, wife, having cancer, do you feel like that made the movie not as enjoyable as it could have been if it turned out to be a happy ending? No, I think it made people connect more with the movie, actually. I know um, plenty of people, you know, guys were sitting and shedding tears in a movie right. theater just because cancer is a realistic thing. You know, a lot of us deal with it despite the age, and I just think it was something else that just made you say, wow, you know, this was so much better than, you know, the first movie. Well, thank you for tuning in. My name is Sierra, and you're watching Talk Back. Boy, you guys are so deep on this, 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 whatever, whatever, the, whatever. The I don't know what we're talking about. I'll be listening right. halfway, but I'll be thinking, okay, what are we going to talk about this? Like, <laughs> wow. I can't hear what they're saying. You can't? Like, through your mic? Yeah, it will. I mean, I hear, blah, 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 blah. That's oh. it. Them or us? No, no, I mean, I can't hear you guys. I mean, I can hear you and everything. Come on out here. I guess I'm just not paying attention. All right, everybody. Oh, so now we're, you can stay where you're at. We're going to try to get together and, and talk a little bit about this, how it works. One thing that we saw was your one minute. When you get to one minute for the first segment, mm -hmm. what you should be doing is noticing that he gave you a one minute command. <coughs> Don't ask a question directly. Follow up with what the uh, previous answer was and sort of flow into knowing that you have to wrap this up, get out of the program for the first segment. So you would see that one minute and say, you know, we've been having a great conversation about blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter if you end early, mm -hmm. just so you know to do it because each time you ask a question, that means you had to answer it. Mm -hmm. And then it took that much time to get into the 30 seconds and end the program. Okay. So that's all right to end early? Oh, yeah. It's, it's okay to end early. Right. You know, okay. I was so, wondering if we should do that at 30 yeah. seconds. I was so overall, what we're doing here is we're recording the seven minutes or so, only because we're making it look like it's a 15-minute program that right. we would edit together. And so we're trying to make it look like it's on time, but we don't necessarily have to do that. It's 
better if we keep a time, then it works better, it flows better. Then we know we're not going on forever, and it's not abrupt, it's not awkward. So mm -hmm. that's the reason why I designed it as a seven-minute program. Right. So we can, yeah, you're right, 6.30, 6.45, whatever, we can fill that time. Now what it's going to look like is at the end, we're, this is recorded, and we can't screw it up. Because you're going to put that on the computer, and then you're going to edit your graphics, music, names, everything, credits, all in it together. So if this is screwed up, right. <laughs> you know, we can't go back and do it again. So we got to record it. And I was saying, Dave, the question in there was, um, like, for example, we come to class, we're kind of slow, we get in place, getting our feet to, you know, we have the entire class time to record this next week. Okay. So, whatever, if we have to, and we screw it up or whatever, right? right. So, our objective here is, wow, that was done. It's six o'clock, oh, let's go home, you know. But in reality, it may not work that way. So, yeah. Yeah, so in other words, everybody know that we had that time that we're working together, we're coordinating, getting things set, you know, make sure to set whatever, everything. Mm -hmm. And then record it and say, okay, 6.45, yeah, we can go home. You know, that's cool. But uh, I believe we'll be on time. We'll try to make it on time, you know, getting out. Okay, so first thing first, what we need to discuss is what's the name of our program and what you're actually going to talk about. I have just designated you guys the host and the guest. That was really good. Yeah. You guys are really well together. You talk well, you work well together. I am shy here. Ooh. He just got kicked out. So um, I think that works. That was really easy. So um, what, are you, what, are, what are you tossing around some ideas? What, what were you talking about? <laughs> they were just talking about the movie, movie. related yeah. to black women. Oh, yeah, I, I, was, I picked up some like parts of it, but I'm paying attention to other things. So. Right. And that's usually what happens. The director responsibility is to direct it, whether they are familiar with the subject matter or not. Right. You know, it's just, you know your thing, you know your crap. So. Now, uh, now mm -hmm. are we going to submit this to some people? We're going to show this to some people. Oh. Okay, so then, so then we, 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 want to, uh, we want to make the subject matter at least as well as yeah, possible. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so it's going to be where I say, go ahead and come up with a concept. It's going to be students at IUN? Both students and faculty. Yeah, I don't know exactly. Like the communications, I'm communications group. group. Yeah. The go? communications week? I mean, I... It's I Inca. Mean, I didn't, I've never been to it, but I've heard about it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the IUI Communication, communication yeah. Department uh, Association. What it was, it was told to me that they did this last year or previous year. Yeah, they did last year. So we got two keynote. pieces to showcase. Last year. This one, I which is a 15 minute it. piece, and then we're going to do a shorter piece that we're going to shoot in the coming weeks. Cool. cool. So it's got to be 15 minutes now? Well, it's, it's going to be a 15 minute. Yeah. <laughs> seven, 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 so if we did a half hour, ain't nobody gonna sit and watch a half you know, hour program. So you, we you do a fifteen minutes. Is our field, you is know our what? field production gonna be what the what the break is in the middle? You know what? No, no, uh -huh. not at all. Um, that <laughs> I have to discuss with you because that's in the making right now. Okay. The preliminary idea for the field production is to do a uh, yeah. You, you uh, and that's a great. Oh, that's really perfect. Yeah, because we can do a lot with that. Uh, you know what? Matter, so. uh, I'm sorry. What should we do with this? But uh, uh, for this in particular, mm -hmm. I think uh, considering where it's going to, you know, the time of the year right. and the time, you know, yeah, time of the semester and whatnot, I think uh, uh, something to the effect of how the By communication way, department has grown yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. leaps and bounds. I mean, um, I, I was, I'm a, uh, in other words, I was a com, I'm a, I'm a com major. Mm -hmm. yeah. But my the, the communications that I had is compared to where we're at now. Yeah, right. compared to where it's okay, at now, so, it's like so light years. Here's here's one thing about it. Here's one thing about it. I hear you guys talking, you're discussing different classes and stuff. We don't want to put anything out there that's really negative. Mm. Right. But you want to showcase it's positive, and I think that's a great idea because then it reflects it, the audience that's watching it saying, "Yeah, you're right." You know? yeah, yeah. So I don't know if that's a uh, consensus here. Something we could talk you know, about, like how, what kind of classes are available now, as opposed to mm -hmm. 
doesn't seem like but, anything that the but, host but and the, it, it but is they have, they have to want to talk about it. Yeah, it's and is everyone familiar with that subject matter? Right, right, right. right. That's what I've been this shit, right? Yeah, that's that, that's a good idea. I just I don't know that our two the, our two talent. Okay. Yeah, because see, yeah. when I when I mm-hmm. graduated, and keep the headset Dr. E. Gay was just coming there, and, uh-huh. you know, She's all awesome. of that. Uh-huh. And see, the only or, the only co- communications major that was offered at that time is organizational communication. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know, and see, right now, That's you did this telecom and TV production and radio production and all of that. Uh, I, you know, I don't know so, how, how we can make that into a... Uh, Talk show see, that's thing. one thing but, that uh, Sabrina has to be aware of and be able to talk about yeah, that. Right. See, as a guest, she, if I understand correctly, this is the first year, right? Yeah, Right, so, so you came here, and this is not a subject matter that you're familiar with to speak about. Right. But that'd be something you know about because, mm-hmm. you know, so if y'all switch roles, then that would work. That's another suggestion. They switch yeah, because then if you way. know what you want to answer, we could we could frame it around. We can frame her questions that she could prepare as to what you what would you know facilitate your answers. Because I was thinking that we could do like whatever topic we can pick a topic and then relate it around like a comm class that maybe you've taken like gender and comm or yeah. interpersonal yeah. or, or cross cultural communication. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I mean that, that would in that com- ties into what you talked about today. Yep. So right. Here's something you want to think about also. When, since we select you as a host and a guest, when you get here, you got your 15, 20 minutes to talk together. You know what I mean? We don't need you to be on set until right. we put you there. Right. So right. that'll give uh, you enough time to prepare to talk a little bit, too. Okay. But if we come up with the subject matter tonight, then maybe That's just it. through texting or any other form of communication would help to kind of think about what you're going to talk about. So, is that a good one? That's a good idea because smiling, that means we're a ridiculous diverse smile. university. We have a lot of cross-cultural, cross-gender, uh, all kinds of different forms. So we could, you could use like six different topics oh, and only answer one question. Somebody. That'd be good. Oh, and, and, Here's another suggestion that you can do. Not only that, you can talk a little bit about being a student. commuter student yeah. or on camp or, you know, whatever. You just talk about your life in general being there at IUN and then transition into right. that too. That oh, will help the true. conversation. Yep. And I think that both of you can handle that either okay. way. Because with the break in between, you could like ask that first question branch going into communication related topics. Right before the break, mm-hmm. and then the whole next part can be. And then, five, and then, we, and then we'll take a commercial break and let Robert get up there. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> funny, man. We ain't gonna let them go. <laughs> <laughs> Shame if I came. I like that English, bro. So, okay, all right. So, I think oh, we've don't come don't to listen. a consensus. <laughs> Is that okay as a topic? I think that's yeah. yeah. all right. It really feels good. Doesn't yeah. matter to me. Now, <laughs> is everybody comfortable with their responsibilities? Is there any questions about that? We float. Um, I, I'm just kind of cool. yes. uncomfortable. Yes. Uh, I guess I need to practice with the zooming in and zooming yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, right is zoom in, left is zoom out. Right. And then the breast shot. Over the shoulder. Over the shoulder. Right. Over the shoulder. You said breast shot. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Man, you got a, a really imaginary, uh, imaginative, yeah. imaginative uh, mind. Yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> very creative. <laughs> it's called two shots, three right, shots. Two, three yeah. shots. Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, and uh, whatever, whatever Lucky is saying. higher. So she's going to be higher up. Anyway, it makes you want to hide. Right. You don't, 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 you don
Yeah, yeah. 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 One of the things that Porsche found out one day, if you're going to run camera, you need to have something on where you can clip your belt pack. Because yeah. you, you can't have them hanging. So, that that's just one first. thing. Yeah. We can't that one broke. Yeah. I noticed that. Okay. I had another I was one. trying to and do it. And I was like, wait a minute. You say you ain't got a clip on it. Right. right. So I got to replace the clip on that one. Don't worry about it. I had an extra one. Okay. Yeah. Put something I was like, yeah. I just, right. 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 okay, right. so we got to talk about it. That's a brand new project. I can say that. It's really good. Because it's what I put on the board. That's what I was saying. So I'm fine. I'm still going to be right here. You have to hurt me. You have to go in there. Small desk. I would be at the end. 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 Just just you know, I would say just be presentable. Um, look like students like you, you know, students are talking about it, whatever. Um, I think it'll be a great conversation. We all can handle it. Um, what do you think? Everybody got it? You got your responsibilities? Yes, sir. Okay? Yes. So ready to go and do this? Yes. So when you get here, basically, um, I had like the, the headset set up, but just make sure you get on camera, get in your position, be ready to do everything, and then you'll be able to get started and get it going. Um, what a... What my time cues? Those cars. Go. Right in there. Oh, okay, good. All right, now. Um, did it work okay? Did you feel comfortable? Yep, yep. I'm okay. Fine. Fine. So you can decide. Right. Yes, producer Mike. Yes, sir. Okay, so <laughs> you when, are you, right. when, you, when you get to that day, I guess between now and Wednesday, you can discuss what, you want, what role you want to play. You can either do the old guest or the old, whichever way you want. Talk to me. Anything else, everybody? I think we got it. I still I think we got it. But we got to come up with the name. What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? We're on the street. She said talk back. Talk back. She said talk back. Talk back. Why is it talk back? Exactly. And we're back to talk back. Right. That's what I was thinking. I like that. The back to reason why is I'm looking ahead to try to figure out what. I'm going to let you guys edit this. I ain't gonna touch it, but we still gotta know what we're doing because when we get to that day, we gotta be able to introduce it and have a theme and know what we're talking about. If it's gonna be talked back, maybe you wanna sit on that, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got me deal. Sit on the street is a newspaper here, right? Or is it called? Something up. Or something like that. Word on the campus. Oh, yeah. Word on the campus. Word on the campus. So wait a minute. So if we sitting there watching it in front of all these people and they say that 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 sucks. <laughs> <laughs> You came up with that name. <laughs> so, wow, you got 